YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you a really simple Enderman trap. Uh, most importantly, um, this trap works in 1.8. It's really simple, really cost efficient. Uh, this is not really that original though. Um, so I was looking at Seth Bling's um, Enderman trap and uh, you know like a few others and they all used um, suffocation but in 1.8 endermen teleport away when they start getting suffocated so basically you have a 6x5 pit and you have a tower over here so all you have to do is look at the endermen in the distance to get them to come over to you go down here Click this lever, and they're all trapped. From here on out, all you need to do is just harvest the Endermen. They won't move no matter what you do, because they're stuck inside this block. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty neat, pretty handy. Definitely not as efficient as building a huge Enderman spawning pad. 128 away from the main island, but uh, it takes a lot less effort, gives you a decent amount of ender pearls. Uh, this is my inventory after a few rounds of these. And it just works well, pretty overall. Works pretty well overall, I don't know what I'm saying, anyway. So, uh, okay, Enderman Farm, if you, anybody is actually watching this, then you should probably just skip ahead. Okay, so, let's get some sticky pistons. Peters, redstone torch, redstone, glass, cobblestone, and a ladder. So this is all you will need. So let's say that we have our um, 6x5 3 deep Hit. So, I'll just make this really quickly. Come on, dirt. Okay. Now, all you have to do is, <coughs> excuse me, on two sides, dig two blocks in, place your sticky pistons, put a block on top of the sticky pistons, well on their surface. Um, Okay, now, one of these middle things is going to be used as a pillar to attract the Enderman. So, all you'll need to do is um, place a ladder on the first block above it. Okay, surround this. <sighs> Excuse me. <coughs> area with um, glass and then you'll have to build that glass up because otherwise the endermen will fall onto these blocks right here and you do not want that to happen that is not very fun All you have to do is just build on top 
um, just enclose this. Oops, my mistake. You do not need to have glass on the second layer. Anyway, just do this all the way up here. Then make yourself a little roof to hide from the Endermen. Because otherwise they might, you know, get on get on top of the tower you're standing on. Don't want that to happen. Okay. Let's just pretend I didn't break that. Now, um... So, you'll need to power blocks that are next to the pistons. So, um, on this side you'll want to dig two out. You'll want to, um, put redstone on this. Two out from here, you'll want to put redstone all across. Nope, you don't want to put it all across? Okay. Never mind, put it on here. On this side, you want to put redstone um, on these four blocks over here. Two out. Put down five redstone again. And then, oops, wrong, wrong row. Put redstone over here. Okay, now let's plop down a lever down here. Uh, you don't want to really like block the first um, cobblestone block here with a ladder or else you can't place the ladder. And, uh, oh crap, I, I forgot. Uh, I, I need, can I place blocks down here? Nope, I can't. Darn it. What should I do? Okay, so, uh, I guess we'll just have to make do with this. So, underneath the lever, you'll want to place redstone, okay? And then you want to get that redstone um, out here. And you, this, let's see. If there's redstone on a block under the lever, it powers it, of course. Okay, now you want to bring this redstone to the surface. So let's pretend that I got my redstone over here, um, I went under and I brought it to the surface. So let's say that it came out over here, okay? Um, first thing you want to do is place down a repeater so that the signal doesn't get loose. And now what you want to do is um, you want to place repeaters on the outer edges of this rectangle. So these four, so these redstone blocks that I placed first are what are used to power the pistons, but the redstone and repeaters that I'm placing right now are used to extend the signal. So um, yeah, once you're done with this, let's see, okay, so I'm just going to power this and see if it works. Nope, did I forget a lever? Uh-oh, I placed this in the wrong direction. Okay, so as you can see, pretend this is like the redstone source from the lever. It's just going to um, close the cobblestone around this thing. Now when Endermen um, are... what If there was a piston over here and it pushed out, then the Endermen would suffocate. And when Endermen suffocate, they teleport away, so you don't want that to happen. Instead, all you want to do is you want to get them to the, get the block to push around their body here at uh, their second level. And once that happens, the Endermen won't be able to get out of here when you're hitting them, and they won't give you, and you won't take any damage from them. So, um, so yeah, you could also, so you could still do um, this when farming endermen, like you have this little mushroom cobblestone thing and uh... to sort of like shield you from them while you whack them with your sword but you know it's just not as efficient and not as safe as this little pit right here 
So yeah, it does look a little ugly, I'll admit that, but maybe you can make it look a little better yourself, so. I'm not good at decorating, I can't help you with that, but hopefully uh, this tutorial was helpful. And yeah, that's it. Bye.